Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you're doing well and today we're doing my first build guide. Yep, I'm going to show you how to build this starter home behind me and something, you know, that's not generic and it's got a bit of a mix of wood, thatch and stone. Uh, I'm using no mods so you can all build this one and yeah we've got a nice fireplace in here, a veranda outside kind of a little beach hut build really and this is a first for me this this type of build guide so I thought about how I would do this so I've got one here as an example and this is going to be kind of like a build along if you want and uh, I've got all my building materials ready that we need in fact uh, what I'll do is I'll just put them up on the screen or something if I pause it so you know what roughly you're going to need to to build this small house with and we're just on the centre map and on this small little island which has got kind of a funny sort of curve to it so it's kind of difficult to build in because it's not actually that flat um, which is kind of good because it'll show you that we can do it even if it's not a flat surface so we need to do a 3x4 to begin with and let's just go out a couple this way and two this way no, not like that. Okay, we need to build one more foundation now. But yeah, you get the idea. And yeah, just a couple of comments on previous videos. People have said, hey, can you slow down your builds a little bit and show us how you build? And really, the way I approach building is I kind of just I go with the flow, really. Just find where we end up and things get added on. But this is a really good sort of start a house build you know you can always build more one th more than one thing on the arc and I think that you know this fits in quite nicely you know just off to the side before you can do like a main base so like I say we're just doing the the star house okay we've got foundations let's grab our door and our stone walls this is sat up slightly higher than the previous one I've built there, so we're going to have to build some steps up to it. But uh, that's good because I kind of think I'm going to do something different with the veranda. And we may not need all of them foundations. So we'll just do a different variant of what I built behind me. Okay, but yeah, these are all stone walls. So at least you're pr protected from some dinos here I mean obviously it's only a little beach house but yeah if a trike comes running at the wall or something if you've aggroed at least it's not going to get knocked down at least the base of it is a a stone base so worse comes to worse and you've uh, you've got a raptor on you or something you know it's not going to tear your thatch base down okay um what do we do next? Let's grab our lefties and our righty. Right, we've got our sloped roof. Let's take our ceilings. And I guess we'll grab the foundations as well, which is over encumbered us, but we're just, yeah, we can walk over there slowly. But um, yeah, I've never sort of done this. I kind of, at the moment, we're doing the complete run of the series and we've just faced the Broodmother, so if you want to go and check that out, um, that's been pretty much the main focus, but during that playthrough, I've had a few comments saying how did I build and can I slow things down a little bit, so yeah, we're just, we're just having a chill build sesh with Ark. Okay, so it's our foundations down, now we need to use one of the slopes, which one is it? This one. It needs to go the second one in, like so, and I need I need some walls, I haven't got them at the moment, but we use the sloped wooden roof. Now make sure you use the sloped wooden roof, not the ramp, otherwise it will put it at a different incline. Um, okay, I'm going to go and put some of these foundations back and get a ladder, because I'm going to build it slightly different to the one behind us. Um, right, yeah. Just give me two secs. Okay, right. We got some wooden stairs. I think this is actually going to look slightly better. Um, 
because I wasn't, that was one thing I wasn't quite happy with, that veranda. It might have looked better if it was a, a dock, but uh, yeah, this is going to look better. Okay, got our stairs, now we get our ceilings, and you know, so like I say, sometimes less is more, you know. Speaking of less is more, I'd have shaved today. I have, I've grown a beard and I look like a hobo over Christmas and my missus has said, you know, you, you're starting to look a bit scruffy. And uh, yeah, so I had a go at hacking it myself and I figured I'm doing a live stream soon anyway at the end of the month, um, so I better tidy myself up a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I've never grown a beard that long before. It's, uh, ooh, hang on, it's just rearrange this. See, I've, I've got to have everything facing this, the right way. We can't have, that's better. We can't have things going the wrong way. Get a little bit OCD in arc. But yeah, so, um, but uh, yeah, I've still got a beard, you know, got to, got to have a beard if you're streaming. I mean, you know, every guy streamer has got to have a beard, so, but mine was just too big. <laughs> uh, okay, it's a wooden ball. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get some of the wooden walls down. Some of these are going to be windows, but this back lot is all going to be wall rather than window. And this sort of helps you stack storage crates and, and whatnot. And that needs to be a window. I think that one's going to be a window. So window, window, and then door. Just trying to think, and then that would be a wall, and we need a wall next to it because we're going to put a fireplace, window, window. Okay, and it's now night time, so I'm actually going to wait until the day so you can see what we're doing a bit better, but I totally forgot on the uh, center map we get the fireflies. Um, it's been so long since I've been on this one, but that's cool. Well, it's the next day. A vanilla sky. Okay, well let's uh, just carry on with this build, which was supposed to be a quick build, but I don't know if it is going to be a quick build now, because I keep messing about. Okay, um, I think we've got enough light. We've got everything we need. Let's get uh, our windows down. In fact, let's get the doors down first. Um, we'll need one here. Facing that way. Got to get the inside wood here. And this next one might be a bit more difficult. In fact, if we stand from the inside, that sometimes helps. Um, this is where art can be a pain and the clipping points are weird. So I don't think that's facing right the way we are. Oh, there it was, there. I can see it. That's the one we want. Okay, you've just got to kind of play around with it a little bit and just move slightly. Sometimes arc, well, it's always been this way. Okay, and that'd be a window. And we need a door. And it's a good reason why I often build my characters slightly um, shorter than the default. Because for some reason, even the default male, if you don't adjust it, um, you'll go into the greenhouse and you'll clip, you clip and you have to duck down to get in the greenhouse. So um, I don't think it happens if you're a female character, but um, the guys, I always shrink them down a little bit so that they're correct in proportions when you're going in and out the door. Um, I've just loaded in on this character and um, I've made it as a default character just in case that happens to sort of show you. Okay, and I've got a window. So there you could see it wasn't clipping in right and I had to wait for it to find an angle. I think this one might be a bit awkward as well. No, that's there. And yeah, okay. That's correct. That's what we wanted. And is it getting dark or is it me? It's just been nighttime. Okay. So we want a slope, then a wall, and then a slope above it. And is it like just going cloudy? You know, I'm, I'm trying to build here, Ark. You know, people need to see.
Okay, so rain and thunder. Ugh. Ark, what do you like? It doesn't thunder on the island, so it's kind of strange to have the thunder. Um, okay, so we want to mirror this side so that goes too high. And then with the other slope, the opposite side. No, not that one, the other one. Okay. So, yeah, that's correct. And we need four walls along here. And there we go. One more wall, please. Don't want a short one. Okay. Yep, uh, I think I'm just going to wait for this storm to pass and we'll carry on. Because, again, it's a little bit difficult to see. Ah, oh, arc. There's a vanilla sky before. What's going on with the weather? Right. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I totally forgot. This doesn't happen on the uh, the island, but it's kind of cool to see some fun now. It's been a while. I've been playing on the island too long. Okay, so a storm has passed, and uh, now I deliberately left this pillar like this, sticking out through the ceiling, because uh, as you can see, it's not happening here and here. And uh, it kind of does my head in when um, when it does that on arc, and there is a way to avoid it um, by simply just putting the pillar down first. So we'll put this pillar down here. Now, as you'll see, if we put the ceiling on, there's going to be two different clipping points, and you can see it. One's the lower and the higher one. We want the higher one. And if we go up here, we will see it's okay. It's slightly above, and we get rid of them bits just sticking out through the bottom of the floor. The trade-off is there's a little tiny step here, but if we place it from here, you can see, I don't know, that just kind of, it, it just kind of bugs me a little bit. We've got it finally. Took a little while to find the clipping point again that time. Okay, so we're just gonna build out from here. And we'll put our next pillar down, but we need to put our next pillar down. It won't be on this corner. It's going to be one foundation over. And as you can see, it's, it's making it sort of three roam. So the way to get around that is to place one next to it. Oh, not there. So if we watch what we do here. And now they've integrated some of the S plus functions into the regular build. You, you can all pick up your stuff as well, which is really good. It gives you the 30 seconds wait. So we've put one pillar there. Now we can put the pillar there and we pick up this one like so. And the last pillar, we will stop it at the end of this foundation. So we won't need to put an extra pillar down there. That'll be fine just there. Um, so yeah, just by putting a pillar next to it allows you to stick it down one one further over if you see what I mean by by that so it's not really a, a massive trick but hey oh, nope we want it going not this way so it's just snapped onto the lower foundation there um, no we don't want to demolish it I'm going to pick one up I'm liking that they've integrated that in fact there's a a lot of reason I'm I mean I really do miss S plus because I've been playing unmodded on my playthrough um, but they have integrated some really good aspects of it so I will be building less and less with S plus in the future because the amount of times something bugs out and you lose it I would I would use it sparingly if you have to when it comes to the building aspects of it okay even if you have to persist like this I think it's better to use the vanilla stuff. But yeah, sometimes it takes a little bit of playing around with. And as you can see, this is quite often why I don't leave this in my videos, because it does take a while and, and some patience. This is with having a template and uh, knowing um, how I'm going to build what I'm going to build. So it does make it difficult. Okay, so we've gone out across to that pillar. Now we just need to go across this one. And like I say, I think it I think it looks much neater that way. And just another two more. One 
last one. Okay. And like I say, if you'd built your ceilings, you could have done, but then if you go down and place your pillars, they're going to stick through. And, ah, oh, here you go. So, my character can't quite fit through the door, so we have to crouch. And, uh, yeah, it is frustrating, but that is literally down to the fact that the default male character is just a little bit too tall for the doorways. It, um, in, I don't know if you've noticed, in the greenhouse, um, you clip through the roof, so... Um, I've deliberately, like I said, I deliberately made a default character to sort of illustrate the fact that they are a little bit too tall, um, proportionate wise. Um, so I always make mine a little bit shorter. That's why I never sort of bang my head on the ceiling. Because um, the minute you double this up, it kind of loses its its features, I find. So, you know, sometimes, like I say, less is more. Again, less is more. Okay. Not that I'm a short guy, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> Getting right off topic. Okay, let's get, uh, we need to get the roof down. And doing a thatch roof. And like I say, you can vary what I'm doing here, but um, I think using a combination of the stone, wood and thatch, always, you know, you can always make things look um, a lot more interesting I find by uh, just using a few different materials okay so we need the lefty and the righty I'll do the back one first that's gone on make our little entrance out here and uh, where are we thatch roof um, quite often like using the thatch roof actually because I never build anything out of thatch, but um, I think it looks quite cool as a ceiling. Okay, um, and let's get these up. So far, so good. So let me know down in the comments if um, this sort of thing, if you if you're liking this sort of thing. Um, like I say, I put it in with a, with a guide. So but yeah, I think this is quite a nice sort of start at home. It will be. Okay. Um, we need some railings. This is why I've made it different to the first one. I felt like the porch maybe was a little bit too much with the lower one. So, um, let's just keep going with our railing. Um, we got one more. Okay. Let's go and have a, uh, yeah, <laughs> if that does happen, like, like I say, it's, you know, this is a trade-off, you'll have to crouch down, but uh, like I say, build a shorter, build a shorter character. Okay, now in order to get um, the thatch roof to come over the top here, we need a wall, and then we're going to have to use one of these slopes, okay, and then put our thatch here because otherwise we can't get it to clip at that angle let's just do a couple and then we shall grab these pieces back because we need them but yeah if we don't put these down it won't find a clipping angle so just by adding that kind of forces it just to come out a little bit more and this also makes it a little bit less square it's another little trick and we need to come out on here Another, another couple, and then just right in the middle, kind of use a couple of slopes. Just a, one here. Yeah, and another one. Just stand here and place it. And a couple of ceilings, a couple of wooden ceilings. And we 
short one. There we go. Okay. And that's it. Now, I'm kind of... Oh, hang on. No, we need to put a wall in there. Um, that's the final piece of the puzzle. Where are we? Wall. Woo. Right. Okay. Wall. Okay. And yeah, that's it. There we go. Start a house. Kind of liking that. I could move in here. So, and oh, hang on, we just need to finish off the railings. Can we just craft three in our inventory? We can. But, uh, there we go. Okay. So, I think I like the second one a little bit more. And as you can see, look, this is just default character. And uh, in this, if you don't build it just one high, I've always felt if it, it always feels a little bit tight. So, yeah, just build your character a little bit shorter. That's one of my suggestions. And, um, yeah, and then this one happened. Oh, I almost forgot. The piece de resistance. The uh, fireplace. We can't miss that. Right, um, I'll have to go and grab that. But uh, yeah, so... And we also need to get some doors on here. Almost done, almost done. We should have it all in here. So, you need to be level 33 to craft the fireplace. So, like I say, it is a beginner house. Just... I guess you can't start with stone, but it doesn't take you too long to get to level 33. And, you know, if you've got the shape and the base of it, you can change these materials round if you have to start with wood, perhaps if you're unofficial, and then change the bottom lower level to stone. Uh, we just put the fire, I just want to... Yeah, perfect. Oh, we need to get some uh, wood in there. No, oh, not in the inventory, in the fireplace. Okay, there you go. Very homely. Okay, so that was my um, build guide to a start at home. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed that one. And uh, perhaps I'll put some more build guides together. Like I say, something a little bit different from me. And when I generally build in arc, I kind of, I just go with the flow. And um, sometimes I can just be doing it for a, over a few days so it's very difficult to kind of make a video out of it if you like the art content that i'm making don't forget to subscribe and uh, like i say let me know down in the comments what you thought of the build guide like i say i've never done one and i thought that this might be the best approach to do it so that's my guide to building a starter home i'm james from complete games and i'll see you